This episode of Techno Buffalo is brought to you by Carbonite. HP's first WebOS tablet, the touchpad, hit the streets earlier today. But are they already in talks to license their software out to the likes of Samsung? BlackBerry may have had plans for a 10-inch version of their Playbook tablet, and it may have been killed off. But this guy seems to still have a BlackBerry in his pocket anyway. Why? And are there big trucks full of really thin laptops made by Apple just sitting in warehouses waiting to roll out to a store near you? All that and more, it's Rumor Roundup. Hey, what is going on everybody and welcome to Rumor Roundup for today, Friday, July 1st, 2011. I'm Noah Kravitz from Techno Buffalo. I'm John Rettinger, and I apologize in advance for all the bad jokes. It's we're in the same room, all bets are off. We got a lot of rumors, we got two people on camera, let's just get through them. First off, touchpad, you've got it in your hands. I am actually touching the touchpad. That's good, I like to see you together, like there's chemistry. All kinds of coverage of the touchpad on technobuffalo.com, so we won't get into any kind of review right now. But instead, rumors that HP is already talking about licensing WebOS out to other companies. John, what do you think? It's been confirmed that they're in talks with other companies. Uh, the CEO of HP, Leo App, I'm going to massacre his last name. Let's Leo just, A. Let's just call him CEO Leo A. Uh, has been in talks with other companies to license WebOS. Uh, rumor is that it's Samsung that they're talking to. You know, it, it makes sense. Samsung apparently is getting a little fed up with Android, maybe limitations, maybe not. But then, you know, the Android fanboys are talking about, no, 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 there's no limitations. What's going on? I don't know what. But, I mean, Samsung's huge. They can churn out phones by the bushel. Yeah, there have been rumors that Google may be limiting what carriers can do or uh, manufacturers can do as far as skinning um, future versions of Android. So I think perhaps Samsung's looking to hedge their bet with maybe some web OS action. I just, I don't know, I just want more web, WebOS phones. Web, I want to know how to say WebOS and Leo A, and I want them now. 4.5 4. inch WebOS phone with a super AMOLED plus extra awesome sauce uh, display. Sign me up. It's, it's too big for me, I'm not that strong. Moving on, Blackberry, what's the deal? This thing, tablet, playbook, seven inch. First of all, here's the email client. Second of all, 10 inch version may have been scrapped in favor of a super phone. Although it might be a single core super phone, I don't know. Single core. Running the QNX software, which uh, for all my gripes about Playbook not having an email client, QNX is pretty sweet. I like it. I don't know. John, you've been using a BlackBerry lately. I am. I have been rocking a BlackBerry Bold as my dedicated phone. And if RIM is smart, we actually wrote a long editorial on what RIM needs to do to succeed. And the conclusion was QNX, QNX, QNX. 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 Yeah. Can I say that again? QNX, which is the operating system that's running on the playbook. They need it in phone. They need it in phone as quickly as possible. If they have to move resources away from a 10-inch tablet to get it on a phone, do it. I'm in favor of it. And QNX supports e it put email on it too. Uh, HTC Status, the Facebook phone, which is really just a phone with a Facebook button. I don't know. You mean the um, the uh, carrier version of the cha cha? The cha cha cha, do it, do it. The cha cha cha. One, two, cha cha cha. Those are from my cotillion days. Yeah, I'm not even gonna. My wife is gonna watch us and be very embarrassed. Yeah, oh, well, well. That's a loss for words right there. AT and T announced that the cha cha cha, I mean the status, is coming out sometime this summer. We don't know when. We don't know how much. We do know that Google just launched Plus One. So I don't know, is there gonna be a, a Google cha-cha-cha? So we could say that we don't know what the status is of the cha-cha? Oh, look at that, see that's why, no. I'm just, I'm just happy to be here, folks. Uh, speaking of things that are unrelated, but related to status, Justin Timberlake, this is one of those uh, truth is stranger than fiction things. He was in the movie Social Network. He played that Sean Parker guy in the movie. Now apparently, He's a stakeholder in MySpace, which was just sold to a company that's right around here somewhere in Southern California. $35 million sale. Worth it? Um, MySpace worth $35 million. Um, Tom doesn't have that many friends anymore. Uh, Tom is sitting there all by himself asking for anyone to be his friend. Certainly there's a lot of intellectual property that MySpace has and a lot of information they've gathered about us before we ever started using Facebook. $35 million, I haven't seen a valuation that high since Microsoft bought Skype. Oh, zing, or since uh, Living Social was came out saying they want to go public for $15 billion. Everybody wants to go public. I, you know we're, what? We're in Techno Buffalo, we're gonna go public for 1.5 gazillion. 
Speaking of government agencies being hacked, were we talking about that? I don't know, we are now. LulzSec, everybody's uh, favorite love boat of hackers doing all kinds of stuff all over the world on the internet, delivered a parting gift earlier this week in the form of a little tiny bit of malware bundled in with some supposed documents from AT&T talking about a 4G LTE version of the iPad coming uh, possibly in early 2012. John, what do you think? Yeah, we're certainly going to see an LTE version of the iPad coming. AT&T has announced an LTE network is going to be coming soon. Verizon already has a pretty awesome LTE network already in existence. So yeah, it makes perfect sense. Although I personally think that the next iPad we're going to see won't be released until next year. It'll probably be packing LTE. Although I know Mr. Kravitz here has a I, different opinion. You know what? I'm gonna stick with this opinion even if I think it's false, but I do think it's true. New iPad this fall. Somebody out there, you know who you are. You're an editor in chief. You're gonna be singing and dancing on the internet televisions. That's all I'm saying. Wait, did you hear that crack out in the distance? Oh, it was the sound of AT&T's network breaking under the weight of the rumor of an LTE iPad, sorry, had to, couldn't, anyway. All right, so last week, we brought you news of Nokia's new N9 phone and rumors about their first Windows mobile phone. And we all know one thing about Nokia, they make awesome cameras in their camera phones. They really top-notch cameras. This week, press release came out, T-Mobile HTC announcing the next generation of their MyTouch slide phone, the MyTouch slide 4G, and the press release was almost entirely about how awesome sauce flavored the camera's going to be. I don't know, John, if you had to bet right now, and let's take the uh, status cha-cha-cha out of the thing here. Cameras, HTC, Nokia. I'd take Nokia in a heartbeat after camera. I mean, the, the, say what you will about Nokia, their cameras are awesome. HTC has put out some amazing hardware. The cameras, maybe a little bit less on the awesome scale. I, I love HTC hardware. I love that they name their phones after dances, but uh, I, I gotta go with you on this one. We'll, yeah, we'll so, I expecting the camera to be quite incredible. The press release certainly said how awesome it was. Best camera that ever camera on the face of this camera. Uh, so we don't expect it to, to really put out some uh, awesome pictures. And it's got some great hardware in there as well as HTC is really known for. Absolutely. And speaking of cameras, shameless plug, our own Mike Perlman has the new Olympus Pen and he likes it a lot. So go read the review on the website. I just want to take a second to thank our friends and sponsors at Carbonite. Computer disasters eventually happen to everyone. Believe me, they've happened to me. Your computer could crash, you could get a virus, you could drop your machine, it might get stolen. You never know what might happen. But if you get Carbonite online backup before your disaster, then you don't need to worry. Your files will be backed up automatically and safely off-site. And the best thing is, it's really easy to get them back. You get anytime, anywhere access to your backed up files from any computer, on a smartphone, or on an iPad with the free Carbonite app. With Carbonite, unlimited backup for your PC or Mac is just $59 a year. That's less than five bucks a month. And if you show us a little love and use the offer code TECHNO to start your free 15-day trial, you'll get two months free if you decide to buy. So head over to Carbonite.com for all the details, and remember to use the offer code TECHNO, T-E-C-H-N-O. Show the buffalo a little love, and in return, you'll get two months free with purchase. What could be better than that? And last but certainly not least, yeah, it's time for an Apple rumor. New MacBook Airs. A little birdie told me, well, no, they told John, but then I like to say they told me, because I don't know, you, you hear more things than I do. Yeah. Yeah, 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 people like it. There may be some trucks, they may be full of MacBook Airs, they may be already deployed, sitting in securely guarded locations, just waiting to roll out to a store near you, and these MacBook Airs, Maybe uh, they may have the new version of OS X Lion pre-installed on them. But are they just MacBook Airs? Are there more computers? So this is something that we haven't published yet. This is the first time we're announcing it. You guys come close and we'll keep it a secret. Uh, we are hearing from a very reliable source who's involved with the shipping. It's not, um, it's not me. It's, it's a reliable source. <laughs> involved in the shipping and the uh, security that accompanies Apple computers that there are shipments and route to Apple stores for an expected delivery date of next week, so if you're watching this on the 1st, which is a Friday, so the following uh, week, following up the 4th of July, so probably the 5th of July, uh, would be when we expect to see these new computers. And it would make sense that if Apple's releasing new laptops right now, those new laptops would have Lion pre-installed. Yeah, absolutely, Lion is, Lion is by all accounts, you know, ready to go, just about ready to go. They've already said it's gonna be a downloadable only thing if you wanna upgrade, not shipping physical media. 
obviously new MacBook Airs, you know, it's time for a refresh, time for the Mac Mini refresh, time for a Mac Pro refresh. There was no hardware announced at WWDC. Sure. So, and and you know, the MacBook, the plastic MacBook. And rumors that we might see a this color, which is black, if the camera's bad, uh, <laughs> MacBook Air is finally... It's the, uh, the glare off of John's head, it messes me up. Yeah, off of my head. Off of your head, that's right. Um, so we might actually see some black MacBook Airs, although that we haven't been able to get confirmation on. But we were able to confirm from two separate sources that shipments are en route to Apple Source. All right, we're way, we've taken up way, way, way too much of your time. No, we haven't. We could talk all day. But we're going to stop. It's the Rumor Roundup, Friday, July 1st, 2011. Thanks again. This episode was brought to you by Carbonite. John, touchpad, full coverage on the website technobuffalo.com. You can follow us on Twitter. You can follow us on Facebook. I guess you can follow us now on Google Plus One. Yeah. Yeah, why not? You can be our plus two. <laughs> wow, I, I have nothing to say after that. Friday, July 1st, 2011. Happy July. I was gonna make a joke, it didn't work out. Here we go, three. Hey, what's going on, Rick? <clears throat> Noah's becoming a man. Hi! <laughs> Here in strange places.